If you want to immigrate here with your common law and you don't know where to start, this video is for you. So the common questions regarding common law is what is the difference of the common law in the married couple? What is the difference of a common law in a live-in? And what are the ways or documents to prove that we are legit common law? So if you're ready, let's begin. What's up mga kap and welcome to Wine in Halifax and before we start please click the subscribe button and on the notification so that you will be notified every time we have a Q&A dito so when in Halifax so let's discuss about common law so what is the common law what is the difference of a live-in in the common law live-in is the common words or common terminology that we use kapag nagsasama sa isang bubong ng bahay na hindi sila kasal so this is live-in this is Canada it's common law so to easily understand what is a common law, it's live in. It's a term that is commonly used in the Philippines. Kapag ikaw ay tumira or naninirahan, magkasama kayo sa isang bubong na hindi kayo kasal, wala kayong papel, you are called sa Pilipinas as a live in. So live in and common law is the same. Ano naman ang difference ng common law and married couple? The married couple ay nagsasama sa isang bahay na merong marriage certificate. Ano ang difference ng common law? The common law is nagsasama sa bahay pero walang marriage certificates. So, the question now is, can I bring my common law here in Canada? The answer is yes and it depends on the program that you are applying. But before we go to the program, ano ang mga paraan para malaman Kung ikaw talaga ay common law. And how to prove that you ha, uh, how to prove that you are common law. So let's go to the Canada CA. The Canada CA is the official website of Canada Immigration. So how to prove that you are common law, that you are being together for 12 months. So that's the questions that actually you can find it in Canada at CA. I will put the link on the description below. But how to prove that you are common law? The first thing is you need to have a shared ownership of this residential property. So if you own a house, dapat po nakalagay doon sa mortgage nyo or sa uh, oh, uh, shared ownership doon sa papel na yun ay nakalagay yung inyong pangalan. And then another one is you can show also a joint lease or rental agreement. Maybe you're renting an apartment. Maybe you're renting a condominium. So you need to show that kayo ay nagsasama at yung kontratang tinitirahan nyo ay nakalagay ang inyong pangalan. Kayong dalawa. So you and your partner. Okay? So kung kayo ay nagre-renta ng apartment, nagre-renta ng condominium, you need to show na kayong dalawa ay doon po nakasulat. Another way to prove is through the bills, gas, electricity, telephone, or any joint utility accounts. So maybe you have a phone bills. Dapat nakalagay yung inyong pangalan dun sa phone bills. Maybe sa, sa kuryente, nakalagay dapat yung pangalan nyo. Another way is a driver license. So you have a boat driver license and yung address nyo ay nakalagay RDZ. Another way also is the insurance policy. Maybe you declare her or him as your dependent. So there's a lot of information that you can get and examples on Canada.ca. So that's one way to prove that you are common law. Okay, so those are the documents that you needed. And I'm going to post the link on the description below so you can read uh, the other information. So the key to understand the common law is you are living together in one house Ang kulang lang ay marriage certificate. And then now you're considered as common law. But again, you need to have supporting documents. As I mentioned, these are the documents that you needed to prove the common law. So another question is, do I need to prepare love letters, conversations? Do I need to show the love letters, the messenger conversation, or maybe our common friends? It depends, but based from our uh, friends, 
shout out to Spice Roads pinaghanda po nila yung kanyang application for that uh, scenario. Just in case tanungin, at least you have prepared. So, if you're common law mga cap, I strongly suggest as early as now, save all the conversation. If you're on the messenger, don't delete. Try to check the messenger. Try to copy that one. You need to secure that meron kayong conversation as well. Another to prove is also the love letters. So, this is one way to show kung gaano kayo katagal na. So, hindi kailangan, pero mas mangadang meron just in case na hanapin. Kasi uh, it's always case-to-case -case basis. Again mga kap, this video is one way to help you sarah hindi kayo ma-stress. So, mabuti na meron kayong handa. Kung hindi hingiin, that's fine. Kung hingiin, eto, available. So, that's my tip for you. And then, interview. So, sa interview, some of our caps, they share their story during the interview is, the goal for the interview is to make sure na nagmamatch yung story nyo. So, tatanungin yung partner mo at ikaw, tatanungin kayo ng the same, and dapat yung story nyo ay the same. So, right now mga ka, if you're thinking to immigrate here, try to understand what is the difference between common law and married. If you're doing this, you need to have a supporting documents. And if you also want to immigrate here and make sure na walang sabit, Try to prepare all the message conversations, love letters, and make sure your cuento or your love story is the same. So, pwedeng hingiin, pwedeng hindi, but at least you are prepared. So, if you have questions about the common law, uh, please comment it below. Feel free to ask comment. And of course, join us every Saturday, 11 a.m. Manila time for Q&A kasama ang ating hashtag Pinoy Canada Immigration Immigration Consultant So see you here mga ka Maraming salamat for joining Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button See you here mga ka Dito sa Canada Thank you ba Thank you mga ka Signing out